Welcome to Take 5, produced by An Empowered Woman. My name is Desiree Dubois, founder of An Empowered Woman, which is a global membership-based networking community and resource center for women professionals and entrepreneurs. We support women in starting, fixing, and building their businesses through our web radio, TV shows, mastermind meetings, seminars, coaching, and special events. And today I have the pleasure of being joined by two of our members, Lisa Elia, who is the founder of Lisa Elia Public Relations, and Sandra D. Robinson, who is the founder of Charisma on Camera. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? We're good. Hey, We're good. You. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Do you feel empowered? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> did you rehearse that? Or we did. <laughs> you just didn't flow. So one of the things that come up, and it's a really, really big, important part of st not only starting a business but sustaining your business, is the is public relations a thing of the past? It is absolutely not. Uh, public relations really encompasses how you relate to all of your publics. Publicity is just a part of that. So really you want to think about, and it's great if you can think about this from the start of your business and ongoing, how you relate to your vendors, your staff, people you network with, and of course the media. And right now with publicity, what's so amazing is in addition to all the traditional outlets that we have like TV, radio, magazines, and newspapers, we have blogs and websites, but we can use social media and video. And video has become more important Every single day, it becomes more important. I think everybody should have video on their websites. If you're an expert, it should be video of you giving tips, introducing yourself. If you have a product, you could have video demonstrating the product. So video has really become a very important component of PR. You know, it's important because a lot of times when people are starting business, they think traditionally, okay, I need an accountant, I need an attorney, I need, you know, other aspects. They need to have a public relations person with them start in the beginning so they can develop the message and then be consistent on that road so it doesn't get faltered or changed along the way. Because that, that could make a big difference in the results, I can imagine. It really does. And even how your website is constructed. It's very, very important to have some input from the beginning to make sure that you don't have to go back and change it all later. And that has happened. <laughs> that has happened. So we're talking about video, Sandra, okay, as far as video. I mean, video, people have either just made or destroyed their careers as a result of. I mean, know for that. Tell us what you think of our thoughts um, on that. Definitely. It can be, you know, as you were saying, it's public relations is about relating. So the way you are in front of a camera when you're doing your video is, is the way you're going to be relating to your target market. So if you really uh, call it owning your space in front of the lens, so you're really comfortable and your, your visual brand fits what you're trying to accomplish, then you'll be able to really enhance your business. You increase your recognition. You increase your trust factor. People get to know you so much faster if you even have a video on your website. Mm -hmm. So it is extremely important. Um, the way they can not do themselves any service, shall we say, <laughs> is if um, they think they're going to wing it. And I know Lisa helps people get their messaging correct, and it's so important. So whether you, they you know, work with someone like Lisa and they come to me with their message intact or I help them do it, it's very important to not only know how to stand and to feel confident in front of a lens, but know what you're saying. It kind of works together. If you know what you're saying, your confidence level should increase anyway. And when you do that, then you'll be able to enhance um, your business as opposed to not doing yourself service by maybe not hitting your points, not really looking into the lens and appearing strong. You want to make sure that you really come across as the expert that you are. Well, I think it's also important because there's so much information available and, and people have so many choices now and anything that they're doing. So to be able to see a video of you and establish what they, whether they know, like, and trust you mm -hmm. and want to be, do business with you is really huge on all different levels. And you have so much access, there's no reason not to. Exactly. Great. Yeah. So what's your empowering thought you'd like to leave our listeners with today? If you really feel passionate about your message, spread it to the world. <laughs> and me, I would say if you have a media opportunity and you're going to be in, interviewed and it's going to be recorded like, say, a television interview, even if it's a small local thing, treat it like it is the video media goal that you want because you never know who's going to see it and where it could lead. Ooh, yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing your time with us. This has been Take 5, produced by An Empowered Woman. And until we meet again, stay empowered.